And today let's talk about vacuum forming. Here I made a real simple tool for some miniature lights. These are little miniature light cans, if you will, like you'd see in a stadium. This is all about you guys being able to do vacuum forming at home. And it is as simple as it can be. Of course, you're going to need a tool. And the tool simply means what you're going to vacuum form. In this case, these are awful small because I don't have professional vacuum forming equipment here anymore. And now it's simply what you can do with a shop vac. So this is about 8 inches square. This is about 7. And I have good draft on everything. Draft has the ability to be removed. Lots of angle. Because these are this is half of a dowel. Excellent draft. Even the ends have draft. Now you're going to wonder about the, the holes. Why are there so many holes? Because I only have a regular vacuum cleaner. I need the rush once I close this off to be as fast as it can be before it cools. So the faster your rush, the better the chances are you'll have a good vacuum form when you're all said and done. This piece is not sitting on top of screen, but it's something like screen. That's very important. From the bottom, you can see what's actually in there. Those are just a whole bunch of aluminum spacers real thin spacers because I wanted this side gap to be as thick as it could possibly be to let air out and if you use regular screen air won't rush out those edges it will come out but it won't rush I'm looking for the fastest air rush as you can get in which case you're gonna to need to do something like this spacers so the air can move around and get between each other quickly and screen just slows down your air movement. So what this is all about is just four legs, getting it in the air high enough so that you can take your frame of plastic and stretch it around it. That's all it's for. Let's have a look at what's inside here. That's all it is, is a lot of spacers. So, all you have is one hole, and that fits your shop vac perfectly. None of these holes are allowed to go through the board. You need to have everything sealed up and closed off on the back side. It is that simple, people. You're just hooking up a vacuum source to it, and now you need a heat source. So your heat source is either going to be an oven or possibly some heat guns, and you will see that shortly. Now what I did to make this really simple is I made a little carriage, if you will. Let's back up that camera view a little bit more. What this is, is it's just a holder. Now you'll see four holes here. That goes into these legs, so I can screw this down. And this is just a holder for my, uh, my frame. Sits up here, like this. And when I'm ready to pull, I give it a quarter turn and go straight down. That's all that's for. So it's pretty simple. And now I have plenty of elevation underneath here that I can put a shop vac hose, a big two and a half inch hose. will easily curl underneath here and come out the side. That was the reason for most of this height. Now this was like uh, eight inches. And it's as simple as that, people. You need to make a little mini tool, fasten it onto a board of some kind, put draft all the way around it. If you're using plywood especially, because otherwise you're going to get little splinters of stuff every time you pull the old piece off of plastic, once you have a vacuum form and you pull it off, it'll take traces of this um, material and it'll break it off and it'll drop them back onto your tool. So make sure you clean off your tool every time you're done and you pull off another vacuum form, make sure that you blow off the tool. That will continue to happen. So it's as simple as that. You're basically done. Alright, let's try some vacuum forming. Here I have a sheet of 30,000 styrene. It's just under a millimeter. Or half a sixteenth. Depending upon how you're looking at it. 
Let's move up to 900. Seven hundred was not getting it done. You want that jelloey jumping around bouncy feel to it. And that's right where we are right now. Let's have a look and see what we got. Oh, fantastic. That came out really nice. These are a little weak at the edge. Then I might be able to fix that. That's pretty decent. For a first try, I'll call that a massive success. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. You guys want a vacuum form at home? Super easy to do. Thin material, small tool, couple heat guns, and or an oven. Done deal. Let me know what you think.